Hello students, in this series of videos, we are going to look at the chapter properties of triangles, also known as solutions of triangles. So this chapter mainly deals with the relations which connect various quantities associated with a triangle, for example, size, angles, area, perimeter and so on. So with the help of these relations, we can actually solve a triangle. So we'll see more about this solving a triangle towards the end of the chapter. These are the things which we are going to look in this chapter sine rule law of sines cosine rule and so on followed by this so the standard notation throughout this chapter we are going to follow this the standard notation um, the vertices of the triangle are denoted by capital letters a b and c the sides opposite to them are denoted by small a small b and small c that is the length of side bc is denoted by small a the length of side ca is denoted by small b and so on so now let us look at the sine rule. So sine rule or law of sines. So we are going to first see the sine rule, the statement followed by its proof. A by sine A is equals to B by sine B is equals to C by sine C is equals to 2R, where R is the circumradius, that is radius of circumcircle of triangle ABC. So this is triangle ABC. So this is its circumcircle and the R is its radius, right? So we can say 2R, 2R is going to be circum diameter. So let us see the proof of this. So there are three possibilities. That is the triangle can be an acute angle triangle. It can be a right angle triangle. It can be an obtuse angle triangle. So now we will prove this sign rule in each of them, right? In each of the cases. So let us first look at the acute angle triangle. So now we have an acute angle triangle ABC. So let us draw the circum circle of this and let us mark its center, let's say S. So we usually denote the circum center with capital letter S. So let us mark it as S. So now let us join uh, point B and point S, right, with a line and extend this line. Let's say this line meets the circle letter D, the point B, this is point D. So now the BD, BD is going to be diameter. So BS is equals to SD is equals to capital R, the circum radius. Now, uh, if we join points C and D, we'll get a triangle, triangle BDC. So this triangle is going to be a right angle triangle because we know that uh, angle in the semicircle is 90 degrees. So BD is diameter. So angle BCD is going to be 90 degrees. So angle BCD is 90 degrees. Further, Angle BAC, angle BAC and angle BDC are equal because they are angles in the same segment, right? So this one and this one are equal. In triangle BDC, so we know sine D, that is sine of angle BDC is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse. So therefore, we have sine of angle BDC is equals to BC upon DD. And what is BC? BC is nothing but uh, side A, right? So this is side A. And then uh, what is BD? BD is nothing but the diameter that is BS plus SD that is 2R. Therefore, and now angle BDC is same as angle A, you see. So therefore, sin A, sin A is equals to A by 2R. So rearranging this, we get A by sin A is equals to 2R. So we can proceed in the similar way and show that sin B is equals to B by 2R and sin C is also equals to C by 2R. Okay, here. Now you see, we have drawn a line passing through A and S and let's say that meets the circle at E. So this is diameter and this angle is 90 degrees, angle in semicircle. These two angles are equal, so angle B, angle B. So therefore, sin B is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. So therefore, sin B is small b upon AE. AE is nothing but 2R. Similarly, we can do for uh, angle C as well, right? So sin C will get as C upon AE which is nothing but C upon 2R. So therefore, we have sin B is equal to B upon 2R and sin C equals C upon 2R. Hence, we have this rearranging them, we'll get this. Now, let us look at the case of right angle triangle. So let us draw the circum circle of triangle ABC. So for this circle, BC is going to be diameter because we know that angle in semicircle is 90. So BC must be the diameter and the midpoint of BC is going to be the circumcenter. Let us say 
call it as yes the standard notation so call it as yes so we have bc is equals to bs bs plus sc both are radius so we have bc is equals to r also bc is nothing but side a isn't it so therefore we have a is equals to bc which is nothing but uh, 2r we can also write it at write it as 2r sin 90 degrees which is same as 2r sin a because angle a is 90 degrees so therefore we have rearranged in this bringing sin a to lhs so we have a by sin a is equals to 2r then for sin b and sin c it is pretty much simple because sin b is opposite upon hypotenuse right angle triangle so we have sin b is equals to opposite upon hypotenuse so b upon bc which is nothing but 2r and sin c sin c is opposite upon hypotenuse which is nothing but small c upon bc which is 2r so therefore we have sin b and sin c as b by 2r and c by 2r so hence the result a by sin a is equals to b by sin b is equals to c by sin c is equals to 2r now let us see the last case that is obtuse angle triangle let us draw the circumcircle of triangle abc let us mark the circumcenter call it as yes so now let us draw a line passing through b and yes so let's say this line meets the circle at point b similar to what we have done in the first case bd is going to be diameter bs is equals to sd is equals to r let us join the points c and d so now angle bcd is going to be 90 degrees because angle in a semicircle is 90 because bd is diameter so we have angle bcd is equal to 90 degrees and also now you see angle bac and angle bdc they are going to be supplementary angles because angles in the opposite segments so their sum will be 180 so now from this we can easily find angle bdc so angle bdc will be 180 minus angle bac that is 180 degrees minus angle a now in this right angle triangle bcd we can easily find the sine of angle d that is 180 minus a so that is opposite upon hypotenuse and what is opposite side opposite side is bc which is nothing but a and what is hypotenuse bd bd is nothing but 2r so that's it so sine of angle bdc is a upon 2r and what is bdc 180 minus a now we know that sine of 180 minus theta is same as sine theta so therefore sine a is equals to a by 2r now similarly we can also prove sine b and sine c so let us say for to, to find sine b so let us draw a line passing through a and s let's say the line meets the circle at e now for this this is going to be a right angle triangle triangle aec so this angle is same as um, angle ABC is same as angle AEC angles in the same segment so this is angle B so now this is right angle triangle so we have sine B is equal to opposite upon hypotenuse so that is sine of angle B is equals to B upon AE A is nothing but 2R the diameter so therefore sine B is equals to B by 2R similarly we can do for sine C as well right so sine C is equals to C by 2R so therefore so in all the three cases we have shown that a by sin a is equals to b by sin b equals to c by sin c equals to 2r this completes the proof of sine rule thank you for watching have a nice day